That's how I do everything. And that's why I can understand it. Because it's a good way to finalize something. Because it's easy to get overwhelmed with everything. You know, and I originally wanted to jump to Snake River Canyon where Knievel, because that's the ultimate stunt it was. People talked about it. I could have done it on the 39th anniversary. It's a lot of toys for them, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Fox turned me down for $300,000, which, why would you not do that? And then ABC was going to come on board. They promised me the world. I'm telling you, reality show, Good Morning America 2020, uh, three jumps and did nothing. And uh, and then, yeah, it's just, it's been brutal. And it's been, I mean, I'm not, a lot of stuff, but it's, a lot of things are funny. Well, before we get up here to get a flat earth guy out of here, what is your next stunt going to be? Uh, basically, it uh, looks like we're trying to set the world land speed, uh, water speed record on water, which is the world's most dangerous record. Uh, since 1940, 85% of the men that have attempted this record have died. One guy they didn't uh, find for 10 days, one guy was decapitated. It's the world's most dangerous record. Dangerous record. I built a boat, it's in my back garden. We're painting it now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You say you built the boat that's in the backyard. <laughs> yes, in my backyard. Right. Yeah, because it's too big for my garage. <laughs> I actually went testing my friend's swimming pool. He's got a crane. And this is a true story. It's a true story. Why not make something up? I'm not digging of you. <laughs> so anyway, we're trying to, seriously, we're trying to get to space. We have a, it's not my plan, it's my uh, landlord's plan. There's a real rocket guy named Waldo Stakes. If you look him up, there's pages of him on the internet. In fact, he's working on my new TV show. If we do have a six episode series, it is signed. We're we'll gonna start filming in January. I'll tell you the name of what never, but it's a done deal. Anyway, um, the plan, which is this model name right here, right next to my uh, red bull. Oh my uh, God. No, go ahead, don't, don't give me the mic, it's a mistake. I'll just keep talking. Uh, hey, Mike. And we have a plan to get me to space. Six or two miles up, which is the recognized. Oh, there we go. It's not exercise. I say that all the time. This actually hangs in my living room. This is a true story. So basically, this is me. Uh, I don't think the hair is correct. But this is oxygen bottles. This is a solid rocket. This is the rocket boosters. And all the cameras will be here on me, several places here. And it's going to pull me up 22 miles. I'm going to release the balloon. I'll fly up 42 miles at 1.8 Gs. And uh, that, would, that trip would take 21 minutes. Uh, start to finish is three hours. We think this should be the most watched event in Mankind television history. There's no reason it shouldn't be. There's no reason it shouldn't be. It's, it's a two million dollar deal. The space is three hundred grand. The balloon is two uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. The helium is a hundred thousand dollars. It's a real plan. And in my opinion, whatever that's worth, that's the only logical way for the tipping point that we can prove as a collective, uh, a form of people or community or whatever you want to call it, to prove what shape this planet really is. That where everyone will accept it. Now, is there a hundred ways to prove it on this planet? Yes. Is there at least a hundred people in this building that knows more about flat Earth than I do? Yes. At least a hundred. But, but we've got a plan to prove the flat Earth. It's two million dollars, and it's here, and it can in one year. We're on Indiegogo right now. We've got the TV deal, we actually have a side to movie deal for this already a documentary and we're just been trying to make it happen and uh, uh, what do you say I mean we think it's gonna be just a huge event well first and foremost you've got guts man you've got a lot of guts to do what you're doing there's no doubt about it and there's a reason why they call you that like the reason because you know you really do you really do you know um, well you know I'm not a fearless man I got to you know I like to get on the ladder I mean I'm just like to overcome this beer I can push the button, and most people can't do that. Cannot force themselves to do something that may kill them within four or five seconds. And I can do it. And it, I know something in me I can overcome that. And the problem is, evil people said this once. Says after a while, you don't know if you can pull the trigger. How many more times you can do it? Cause you get sick to your stomach. Evil people said that. But uh, you know, one thing I want to say something about the flat Earth community. Uh, this is serious. Believe it or not, I can be a serious guy. Uh, community. And within the word community is the word unity. And I think that's what we need to do here this weekend. And come together and quit fighting about everything. And I just, you know, I'm a little guy, man. I, got, I live with four cats. I don't have a girlfriend. I work on my projects. I live into the kitty litter box every day. <laughs> I, you know, I just, 
a little five acres by myself. And basically, I just want the best for everyone. And I only have two wishes in my life. And those wishes are that every man, woman, child, cat, dog, and any form of animal has enough to eat and a nice place to live. There you go. Global Earth deception was right there above. 
feet. Well, holy smoke, this could be true. What if we're not on a globe? The more I learn, the more I yearn, the more I started to grow. Well, I answered every rock of information that I could find. I started to unlock the truth, the war on my mind. I had a thousand questions I just couldn't understand. I had to meet that man again, that black earth man. Oh, that's the fake and everything that you were in the sea. And as for flying to the moon, will be never be. Indeed, my friend, their life's gone. It's there for you to see. Just take some time, look into it, and the truth will set you free. Well, I caught him up that evening, and he agreed to me. He was very welcome in and he showed me to my seat. He said, I see you've done some research, my open-minded friend. I know you'll have some questions which we'll get to in the end. First, take a look at what some of these walls, paintings of a globe. I painted every single one of these, don't you know? You see, back in the day before computers, I was in demand. An artist painted everything that I saw above the land. Landscapes were my favorite. I was awfully good at those. Many people told me that they looked just like photos. I then one day I got a call from a real important dude. He asked me if I'd like the job and said the money's good. Well, what's the job? I asked him. Then I wait for his reply. He'll be painting globes for NASA. Then he promptly said goodbye. Well, I was sworn to secrecy. I could not tell a soul. But I just got myself a job with NASA, painting clothes. My work was published globally in every magazine to fool the people of where we live, a truly evil scheme. See, we don't live all in a globe, he said. The earth is truly flat. I've been on the inside, and I know that that's a fact. See, NASA's making everything that you ever see. As we're flying to the moon, we'll be if keep my friend that life's gone, it's there for you to see. Yeah! It's a time to keep you in, the it's truth will set you free. When we talked to Tim, the sun came up and my mind was truly blown. This man had challenged everything that I thought I thought I'd know. And finally it was clear to me, you know, why these rascals lie. And finally it was clear to me about the reasons why. It's all about control, you know, to get inside your head. It's all about the money, too. They got an awful lot of bread. Fifty million dollars, man. What could you do with that? Well, that's what NASA gets a day to hide the Earth's flat. You see, if they can get you to believe that you're on a spinning ball, things like God and creation just make no sense at all. And I'll explode it from nothing, right, with their theory of Big Bang. True satanic mind control from the Freemasonic gang. The sea is only the to get to go to space. Bear the evil bastard to a lie to your face. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty evil, man. The whole thing is such a fraud. The only reason they exist is the height of loving God. All of this is making everything that you will never see. Guess what my team the moon will be Empty, my friend, their white stones, they're a fear to see. Just take some time, I'll get to it, and the truth will set you free. Woo! Yeah, that's is pretty evil, man. Yeah. They're a white stone man. Take some time, man, look into it. The truth will set you free. My mind is truly blown. That song they played it on the uh, the Flat Earth podcast. 
which I thoroughly recommend, by the way. And the song is called The Flat Earth Man, right? And I heard David Wise say to his co-host, hey, have you heard that song by The Flat Earth Man? And I'm like, David, man, the song's called The Flat Earth Man. I'm not The Flat, hold on, The Flat Earth Man. That's a really good title, I'll have that, man. So, because of David's screw-up, I am now The Flat Earth Man. And it is an honor to be the call to be called the Flat Earth Man on the table. So let me tell you a little something about that song. I wrote that song from the perspective of my buddy Mike. Where is he, Mike? Put your hand up, Mike. There he is. Mike! I started talking to him and I was like, dude, the, the earth's flat, man, the earth's flat. Flat, no way, no way. Flat like, seriously, man, that's just full of We're not on a globe. He's like, no, man. So look into it, look into it, look into it. Next time I saw him, I'm doing it. Like, Dude, the earth is flat. You looked into it? No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, eventually he went and looked into it, right? <laughs> That's why there's a line in that song that says, uh, but he spoke with such conviction and he believed the words he spoke. And something deep inside me knew this couldn't be a joke. So he knew that. He went off and researched it. And then like three weeks later, I get a text message. And it said, holy shit, it's flat. <laughs> and he's now here with me all the way from Spain to support. Thank you. So 
yourself and ask to another boy. So you believe. When flies out the fence, everyone's new. And action, we got some deceiving to do. When flies down the bed, everyone knows. Starting the ISS live show. Floating in a plane with zero G. But you only see astronauts on your TV. All you're watching is a puppet show. Yeah. All world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course. Yeah, they all get paid. What the be my love, don't get spaced. These fools, they're filming spacewalks in buoyancy pools. NASA's gonna tell you that it's just for training to practice for space station maintaining. Well, I thought about that, but if that's the case, then why the hell can I see bubbles in we space? space? Take a hard walk at the next spacewalk. Tell me if you can see bubbles at all. Open your eyes, man, I'll bet you a quarter. Those spacewalks are filled up the water. I can see space bubbles everywhere. Hey, NASA, how the hell did those get there? All y'all watching is a puppet show, yeah. The whole world's a stage. Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah. Y'all get paid, are you ready? Look at me, my mouth floating in space, what? So when you see an astronaut aboard the ISS, take another look at your TV set. They're pretty good at faking, so you gotta look close. Pay some attention to the way the action flows. If you ask me, that ain't zero gravity, but Hollywood effects that I see on my TV. Take a good look at the whole damn thing. These lying rascals, they're just puppets on a string. It's all a big science fiction puppet show. The game's up, assholes, cause we all know. Thanks for the show, NASA. It's been a blast. Now take your fake station and shove it up your ass. Oh, you know what you did. Puppet show, yeah. Oh, well, stay. Astronauts, they're actors, of course, and yeah. Y'all get paid one more time, people. Look at me, my eye floating in space. What? Are oh, y'all watching is a puppet show, yeah. Oh, well, it's a stage. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course, and yeah, y'all get paid. Look at me, my I'm flowing in space. Say no, you're not, you lie to the human race. All y'all watching is a puppet show, yeah. Oh, well, it's a state. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course, and yeah, y'all get paid. Look at me, my I'm flowing in space. Say no, you're not, you lie to the whole human race. All y'all watching is a puppet show, yeah, the whole world's a stadium. Astronauts, they're just actors, of course, and yeah, y'all get paid. Look at me, my, I'm floating in space. Thank you. Man, you guys are amazing, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stage, man. <laughs> Can't believe you all know that. <laughs> <laughs> so this next song, I'm going to dedicate to uh, Neil deGrasse Hold Tyson. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> I really do. Oh, <laughs> when I saw him on Comedy Central with the microphone, you know, that's gravity. Yeah. I'm like, no it's not, you jackass. <laughs> I'd like to drop him. <laughs> Teach him a thing or two about density. There you go, Neil. You know why you fell so fast? You know why you hit the ground so fast? Because you're so damn dense. <laughs> 
So I wanted to tell the people who don't believe in gravity, man. Don't believe it. It's never been proven. But they teach it to the kids. Let's do that for you right now. Believe me, when I say to you, there ain't no gravity, and that's the truth. 
Well, my daddy made me sing that day. He made me think in a different way. I did some thinking for myself. I put that theory back on the shelf. That gravity trap is indoctrination, not truthful. Trusted information. People need to wake up and see. There ain't no such thing as gravity. Let me hear you sing it one more time now. Don't believe in gravity. Water. Don't believe in fantasy. Don't believe because of theories I live. It's never been proven that they teach you to the kid. Rocking it, Alex. <laughs> Someone said the guitar is flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Can we dance? Of course. Do you dance? Man, I encourage it. Yeah! I'm gonna put my glove head on and start dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this next song, when I learned about those satellites, <laughs> they're just on balloons, man. They don't orbit the Earth, man. I watched a series of videos uh, by uh, Paul on the plane. If you want to get deeper into that. He did a great series called Fake in Space, and he goes into the lunar reconnaissance and the Discovery satellite and uh, the Himawari 8. And guess what? It's all fake. The whole thing is fake. You know, those images, right? No photos. So when I learned that, I was like, man, these satellites are a hoax. So I wrote the song, Welcome to the Satellite Hoax. Here we go. Yes. 
stop that race with the Google folks. The lady will confuse you to set a right post. in space. Uh. Huh. Take it off. 
You first. <laughs> Good answer. Y'all enjoying the show? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Darn it. Give me a second. One. Okay. So along my journey, uh, during my flat earth awakening, I came across the subject of no photographs of earth. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Well, that was amazing to me, but the fact that the blue marble is... Fake. It's a composite. It's fake. Robert Simmons said so, right? It has to be fake. It has to be. <laughs> it is Photoshop, it but it's... Ah, it, oh, shut up, man. <laughs> When I learned that, man, I was like, man, I gotta make a song about this, man. <laughs> there ain't no photographs of Earth. Somebody tell me why. why? You know? Now since they've been everything, they'll let us see. There ain't no photographs of Earth. They're all just... Somebody tell me why. Told to do a search online. Search for photos of Earth, he said. This is stuff will blow your mind. So I, I opened, opened up, up the Google, Google and, and I looked for pictures of Earth. A lot of photos came up, he said. Click on all the birds. He said, that's the famous blue marble that everybody's seen. We've seen, seen this photo a thousand times upon our TV, TV screens. But well, let me tell, tell you something about that famous shot. shot. It's not, not a photo, photo at all, man. man. It's, it's made, made in Photoshop. Photoshop. Cause there ain't no photographs in there. Somebody tell me why. There ain't no Photoshop punches and all the CGI. No photographs of a blood that I know. Why the hell can no one see the photo of this ball? Well, man, he was right. Cause I did blow my mind. Cause I thought the blue marble was a photo of this time. Oh, don't you think that's strange? He, he said suspiciously. The fact it ain't a photo seems pretty rare to me. I mean, the most important photo that man could ever take? This huge iconic image turns out to be a fake? Man, I couldn't quite believe it, man. I, I, was, I was pretty, pretty shocked. shocked. I needed further, further proof that this photo was photoshopped. photoshopped. He said, look at Robert, Robert Simmons. Simmons. He made, made that, that cartoon ball. ball. He's the guy you should research. He works for NASA and all. He openly admits that it's all just artistry. He said, and I quote, it's Photoshop, but it has to be. There ain't no photographs of us. Somebody tell me why. They're all just Photoshop portraits. They're all just CGI. No photographic of a gold. No, no. Why the hell can't no one see the photo of this ball? Yeah, 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 every photo the on the earth is on this trickery. All the photos on Google Man are as fake as fake can be. Download all the photos and put them side by side. Compare all the colors. They're each a different shape. I'm glad you guys went up there. I'm glad Compare you went there. all the colors. Each photo a different there. shape. That's if all awesome. of these were photos, man, they should surely look the same. But where's the continuity? There's none. No, none, none at all. all. All that NASA it gives us is, is a bunch of cartoon balls. There ain't no photographs of us. Somebody tell me why. They're all just photos of cartoons and all just CGI. No photographic proof of a glow. None at all. Why the hell can't no one see the photo of this ball? Yeah, we're supposed to have this telescope, right? That's flying past the stars. Taking beautiful photos of, of Jupiter, Jupiter and, and Mars. Mars. Well, I've got a small suggestion. That's so something, something you, you can, can do. do. Point that thing at planet Earth and take, take a, a shot, shot or two. Because there yeah. surely should be thousands of photos of where we live. But I'm going to take your one. That's suspicious, don't you think? 
We got all those fancy pictures of spinning galaxies, but not one single photo of the Earth for us to see. You see, there ain't no photographs, so but somebody tell me why. They're all just Photoshop cartoons, they're all just CGI. No photographing proof of both, not at all. Why they have me, no one taking photos. They're all just Photoshop cartoons are all just CGI. No photographic proof of a globe. None at all. Why the hell can't no one take a photo of this ball? There ain't no photographs of Earth people. Somebody tell me why. As you can no doubt hear, I'm starting to lose my voice. Don't lose your voice! I'm gonna do another song for you. Thanks, <laughs> man. Yeah, put some up. Put some up. Stop. This song uh, doesn't require the guitar. Woo. I teamed up with a buddy of mine. Uh, he lives in Spain. His name is Alex Michael. Some of y'all may know who that is. Uh, I wish I was more like him in many ways. But uh, he's a very talented musician over there in Spain. And uh, he put a little Spanish feel to this song that I'm going to play for you right now. Ooh! He sings the chorus, I do the verses. And uh, this song is about how flat earth makes me feel, how flat earth has made me behave as a human and uh, how I treat people, that kind of thing. It's a song that's very close to my heart and I don't think many people have heard it, unless you bought the album, of course. Um, so I'd like to sit down with this song. Can I get a seat? Yep, right here. Right there, right there. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. Love you, man. There you go. I love you, too. <laughs> This is a pretty serious song, you see, so. It's like a poem, which my buddy Alex Michael put to music, and uh, it goes like this. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. It's called Don't Let Them Take Your Mind. Nice. That's Alex Martin. Yeah, I'm Hold on, let's try. Listen to the words, people. Yeah! I hope they resonate with y'all. When we all believed in that spinning ball, indoctrination blinded us all. From the very first day that we went to school, they put a globe in your face and that thing looked cool. The teacher explained how it all worked. Of course it sounded so reserved, but, but who was I to question then because I was just a tiny kid. It sounded crazy as could be, but the teacher would never lie to me. She was real nice, she didn't know. She too was taught to believe get a in that shirts and hats I don't blame out. her, it wasn't her fault. She was only believing, repeating what she'd been taught. I went through life believing that lie, that, that spinning ball was there in my mind. Don't let them take, take, take your mind, man. You gotta take back control, man. Find the truth. Find the truth. Find, the truth. find it out, man. Nice. Nice. Don't let them take your mind, man. He's so amazing. Listen up. So I'm hurling through space on a road to nowhere. So I'll live my life without a care, cause. Cause I was taught that there ain't no creator. That's what I was told from my educator. So I live my life so selfishly. 
There ain't gonna be no hell for me. I'll do what I want with no care for others, with no respect for my brothers. Until one day when I woke up and I drank some truth with my coffee cup, I learned that things ain't what they seem. This so-called reality is just a dream. There's deception everywhere that I look. The news, the TV, and in my school books, and pretty soon I realize that everything is just a pack of lies, man. Oh! Don't let them take your mind. Don't let them take your mind, man. Yeah! Don't let them take my favorite one. Don't let them do it. You gotta take back control, man. Find the truth. Yeah, let's find it all. Leave that lie. Don't believe it, man. Let them take your mind. Don't let them take your mind, man. Oh. It's deception on a biblical level. It's orchestrated by, by the death. devil. Many think that he don't exist, but that's what he wants. That's one of his tricks. But I found out that that dude's real. I'll tell you, man, that's a bitter pill. So I question everything I was told. I had to question that spinning globe. I had to relearn it all again and get some truth inside this brain. And pretty soon I realized that the globe I was taught was a, a pack of lies. So I studied as hard as could be. I found the plan of conspiracy, man, and hit me like a ton of bricks. The clue of all this top was a devil's trick. Yeah! Don't let them take your mind, man. Uh -uh. Don't, Don't let them take your mind. Don't let them do it, man. No. Take control. You gotta take back control. Find the truth. I find it out, man. Don't let them see your mind, man. That's uh, it right there, bro. I started to connect the dots, and I'm telling you, man, there are lots. Soon realized that the earth was flat. It's not a belief, man. It's a fact. And once I found out that reality, well, it did a funny thing to me. For a while there, I was pretty shocked, but now I know that there's a God in yeah. Once you get to that point of yeah. understanding, and once you know there ain't no moon landing, and, and once you know that space is fake, you, you view your life with a different take. It ain't just random chance that we're here. We, we ain't living on no stupid stuff. It ain't some ridiculous spinning ball. The earth is flat, but God created it all. Yeah! Don't let him take your mind. Don't let him take your mind. You will not goodbye. Don't let him do it, man. No. Control your soul. You gotta take back control. Find the truth. Find the truth. Find it all. Find it out, man. Yeah. Don't believe the lie. Don't believe it. Don't let him take your mind. Don't let him take your mind, man. Uh huh. Well, now I found out about all these lies. I live a completely different yeah, life. I stopped reading the news and turned off the TV. That thing is evil as can be. Started being a nicer guy. And God forbid I, I tell a lot. I treat people with more respect, and I've got me a wife that I've never neglected. Yeah! yeah. For me. Now I ain't blinded, and I can see. I know that there is a God above, and if I'm good, good it'll show, show me love. love. I try to live life selflessly to, to be the best that I can be. I treat people how I want to be treated, treated since my indoctrination was defeated. So don't believe in the devil's lies, cause, cause it's God who wants to hide. That's why they teach that spinning ball to make you think you ain't special at all. Don't believe what you're being told. Don't believe that, that you're involved. 
it's all an accident and you are too. No, you're so special that God made you. Yeah. Don't let them take your mind. Don't let them take your mind. I'm making a song right now. Woo! Let them tell you you are not divine. Don't let them do it, though. Take your soul off your soul. You gotta take back control, man. Find the truth. Find the truth. Yeah. Oh, let him take your mind, man. No. Let him take your mind, man. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank y'all for being unbelievable tonight. Woo! I hope y'all enjoyed the show. One more! One Thanks more! Music, download the music. Use it to flex, make your friends and your family. No! Sometimes it's like banging your head on a brick wall, right? Sometimes it's best just not to talk about that sort of When I started talking about Nasser, I lost all my friends. So I don't want to talk about Nasser ever again. My friends don't understand me. I wish they would. I try to tell them about NASA, but it don't do no good. No, I don't want to talk, talk about, about NASA ever again. Cause every time I talk about NASA, I lose. Now NASA comes right now. I don't 
want to talk about Nasser. Again, Nate, you need a chair? You want one? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can tell something about Nasser, but you can't make him think. Woo! And they roll their eyes and they shake their head Cause they believe the papers and the TV instead Sing along now I don't want to talk about Nasser Ever again Cause every time I talk about Nasser I lose another one of my friends Every time I open my stupid mouth, something about NASA comes flying out. No, I don't want to talk about NASA. Okay. See, I just want my friends to know all of NASA's lies. Yeah. I hope one day that my friends wake up and they realize. But I feel like I'm banging my head on a wall every single time. If I just got me a bunch of new friends, then I'll be dead. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Nasser ever again. Every time I talk about Nasser, I lose another one of my friends. See, I went down to the local bar to get me a bunch of new friends. Well, I had myself just a couple of beers and started talking about oh, NASA again! Well, things got kind of ugly. And I, was, I was punched to the floor. Oh, I don't want to talk about NASA. No more. One more time, people. Are you guys having fun yet? Yeah! 
All right, karaoke starts in five minutes. Yeah, yeah David! We have something special. We're gonna have to take a break though, because we've got to move some stuff around here. Um, just because we gotta get the podium up here, because the Flat Earth Video Awards are coming up. <laughs> we invite you to stick around for that. Uh, Robbie, is there anything you wanted me to tell him? Robbie? Oh, I know, he's getting ready for the Flat Earth Awards. Yes. You gotta give out the books. Is that Tim? Is that you? Okay, hey, Zane. Giving out books? Cool. First, when you said we're passing out, I was going to say, oh, don't do that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, do what you got. Where were you? Am, am I telling them where to go? Oh, okay. Bring them up here. I can do it right now. You guys ready to win some stuff? Yeah! After this, they're doing a big sale, too. So here we go. 30% off. All right, here's who won. Uh, just come on up here and grab one bag. Right? There's one bag. Everything's in the bag, right? All right. The folks that won, we're looking at uh, Jeff Vance, Ron Fig, Chance Foster, Andrea Berglund. Andrea, yeah! Miguel nice, high five. Uh, Derek Hurt. Jalen Boyd, Deborah Hayes, Nathan Reed. Ah. I know there's, there's only like fifteen thousand Nathans in here. Sorry, Nate. Mark Everett, Joanne Horn, Carson Kendall, Marty Merritt, Nicholas Lamborghini. Nick, yeah. Steven Suro. Did everybody, uh, do we have some left over? Um, if, if some of the people weren't here, yeah. can you go up there? Yeah. So you can keep calling names. Okay. Actually, we'll see. Perfect. Great. Perfect. And Nathan Thompson. Oh, Nathan! What? I'm kidding. Sit yeah, down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Am I, are you, am I Facebook live? I'm leaving, dude. I'm leaving. <laughs> Sit down, man. Come on. Hey, Building 7. Research Building 7. Seriously, has this been an awesome conference? Yeah! Woo! Oh, I got three more to away. Three more? Oh, there's four. Okay. Uh, Cindy Ramirez is on here. Robert Larson is on here. Nathan Thompson oh, is not on here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know where you live, Rick. I can tell you. <laughs> Give him <laughs> All right. Good job, Alex. You ready for two more? How about can I just wing them out the crowd? Oh, is there books in there? I can't do that. Okay, hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can scroll down. Matthew McMahon. Yeah, Matt, where you at? Matthew McMahon, are you here? Yeah, Make he's here. If you hear me say your name. I don't know. Oh, he better be here. He went home. Okay. How about Anthony, uh, is it Jorgensen? Or is it supposed to be Jorgensen? Hey, first one to grab it gets it. Did I, which way is it? Jorgensen, good. Somebody didn't buy the arm. Uh, I one left, two left. Iris Graham, come on down. Iris Graham is not here either? Okay, Ander Egerder. Is that right? Ander Egerder? Maybe not. Mike. Oh, he's over there? That's why you gotta say something. You got it though, is that it? Is that everybody? We got one more? Nathan Tana. <laughs> Damn, dude. I love you, bro. I love you too, man. You know. All right, tell me this doesn't sound fishy. Say, what's your name? Boyd. James Boyd. James Boyd is the winner here. Is that the last one then? James Boyd? No, you can't. We still got names on here. Like, 
No. Give it, should we give it to Nathan Thompson? Yeah. I love you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha, sucker. <laughs> I know where you are. Thank you, Zen. Hey, make some noise for all of our speakers this uh, week. Man. Honestly, I don't even think I can name them all right now. We just want to say thanks to all of our exhibitors over there as well. Mad Mike bringing the rocket in. That's awesome. Bob bringing the car all the way from the uh, Kakalakis. Gotta love that. Bob made it all the way from uh, South Carolina. There you go. And he's got the cleanest water you'll ever have. It's fused with stuff. Nice. Enjoy that. All right. Uh, why don't we uh, take a break here, guys? You want to stretch your legs a little before the awards show because we got to move some stuff around? Yeah. Please make your way back in here. This is our last night together. And, uh, of course, we'll uh, conclude with those and announcements from Robbie. And then also we've got a special uh, thing we're going to do with everybody. I think it'd be cool. We want to start building a bladder yearbook. Wow. Nice. And we'd like everybody to come over here and uh, get pictures taken with all of us when we get done tonight. If you're here, it'd be so cool to do. 